So this is figure 4-52, the base plate, and this will be the shape that we work with this week. Our first phase is going to be to make a 3D model, and then we will spend some time with setting up a white paper space, importing views, and adding dimensions following good practices. So the first place to begin is the model. So let's get started. So we'll start a new document and we'll call it 4-52 base plate. And we'll start a new sketch in the frontal plane. Now, the overall shape of this is eight and a half inches wide and five inches tall. The corners are knocked off and they show an angle of 30 degrees and a distance of two and a quarter. You can see that here, two and a quarter from the edge and the 30 degree angle. So we need to do that four times for each of the four corners. I'll start by drawing four lines. I just want to make sure they're attached to the horizontal. And it's okay that they run past the rectangle. It doesn't really matter how long they are, what angle they're at, because we're going to use the dimensioning tool to fully constrain everything. So we can set that to 30 degrees in the lower left and 30 degrees here in the upper left and 30 in the upper right and 30 in the lower right. Now we've got the angle set. Now we can also go ahead and set the distance from the edge to that point where the line segment begins and make sure that that's two and a quarter inches as well. And repeat that for all four. With that accomplished, everything is constrained. We just need to actually use the trim tool to clip everything off. Everything's set. Next thing I want to do is I want to put the three inch square into the center of this shape. So to do that, I'm just going to randomly draw a rectangle and make sure it's three inches wide and three inches tall. It isn't anywhere near to being properly centered. So to achieve that, I'll use the dimension tool. And let's say from the bottom edge of the shape to the bottom of that square, we want to make that, we've got five inches over here, and we know that this is three. So five minus three would be two, and half of that would be one. Now I could put one in after having done the math myself, but the computer can do it for you. So if we evaluate this expression of in parentheses five minus three, and then divide that by two, it comes up with one for us. Similarly, if the, the width of this is eight and a half, we can have this center, this left to right for us as well. Say um, we go this distance here, we make that eight and a half minus three, and then divide that by two. And it generates two and three quarters. Now that square is centered up.
if we go back to the original handout and we look, this rectangle is three quarters of an inch wide and two inches tall, and it's one inch away from the square. So we can put this in here. Just randomly draw a rectangle and make it 0.75, make that two inches tall. To center that vertically, we'll go from the bottom edge of the shape to the bottom edge of that rectangle. And if it's five inches tall, take off the two that's that square and divide that by two, you get one and a half and it's centered up. Make that one inch away from the existing square and that is now properly located. Make this three quarters wide and two inches tall. And we can establish a distance of one right here. And from bottom edge to bottom edge, that needs to be 1.5. And now we have everything fully set up. And we can finish this sketch. And let's go ahead and extrude it to make our shape. Now, the thickness doesn't really matter. What we're really after is what, what will be the front view in our 2D paper drawing. So I might make it one or two inch, one or two tenths of an inch thick. And for a profile, I'm just going to choose the base plate shape itself and not any of the three knockouts in the center. And there's our shape. For our next activities, we will set up a 2D drawing space with a title block. We will import a base view and project a couple of views, and then we will add dimensions following good practices. Those will be extra additional lessons to follow this one. So we'll see you next time, and thank you for following along.